Hey guys, thank you for stopping by my channel today. Wow, that sounded totally weird because I am very aware that it has been a really long time since I've sat down to talk with you guys or car chat with you guys or anything. And honestly, part of the reason I think I haven't sat down to film a video is because I needed to explain um, kind of where I've been and I, I got so many um, questions and concerns about why I suddenly stopped putting videos up and I, I didn't say anything, I didn't respond, which I hope you've come to know me enough to know that that was very strange because I always responded. Um, I honestly didn't know what to say. I had gotten myself to a point with YouTube and my channel and I, I felt a little hypocritical in my response if I were to just kind of give you guys real quick flat answers. I actually, at the moment I decided to stop filming, I, I didn't really have all the answers and I didn't want to Re respond to you guys and reply to you guys with something that wasn't even true or don't worry I'm fine I I kind of wasn't I mean nothing major was going on seriously people have way worse troubles than I do but just from the from the creator perspective and from my YouTube channel perspective I was just not in a good place and that was never what my channel was meant to be so here I am I'm sitting down I want to you know in the back of my I've been planning this, this video for so long, it seems, and now I'm here and I'm like, Bleh. I just want to say so much at one time and it's not going to all come out at the same time. So I'm going to give you, hopefully, I where I was going with that was saying was that I, I'm back. I don't really know if I am. I'm curious to know what you think about kind of the perspective that I'm going to give you this morning or this afternoon. Um, it's gonna be kind of like a random car chat, you know, where I'm just kind of thinking out loud. I've got a couple of things I know that I wanna say, but um, I don't know. I'm just gonna go and at least at minimum, at the end of this, if nothing else comes of it, I'm going to at least give you an explanation because I think that's only fair that you know what happened and um, I think it's kind of rude that I didn't respond um, initially. And so for that, I really do apologize because I was not expecting the amount of concern and support that I received um, at that time. And so part of it is that I didn't expect to be gone this long. I kept thinking, well, okay, I won't answer everybody right away and um, I'll just get back to you. You know, you'll, you'll find out what's going on in, I don't know, a couple weeks, maybe a month. And in the grand scheme of things, that didn't seem like a really long period of time. And I guess I needed even more time to try to figure things out. And I'm not even sure if I've gotten them figured out. You know me by now that I don't even think I ever have everything figured out. But I felt I felt I was ready to at least kind of make this explanation video. So the major thing that happened for me, um, I've shared a number of times that, you know, I'm a type A personality and I, I, I like to be very mindful. I like to be aware. I like to accomplish things. I like to get things done. And in the development of my channel, I kind of approached it a little bit like a class, you know? I did research, um, I followed guidelines, I bought the right equipment, I did intros and outros, you know, things at the end of the video. Um, I I edited things in to, within fractions of a second so that the video was as seamless as possible. And not that those are not really good characteristics of a video, but my intent the entire time was to grow. Um, I, of course, loftily speaking, I kind of imagined that I was going to um, have 50 million subscribers because you have to, you almost have to have that kind of faith in yourself and that the idea that your dream could actually be a reality. I mean, you have to do that. It's what Olympia, we just had the Olympics. It's what Olympians or potential Olympians have to think, even though the competition's so fierce, you have to believe that you could possibly win a gold medal, or at least a little bit. And so let me be clear though, my, my intent and all of my prep and all of my um, desire to produce very let's say high quality videos, even just in and of what they were themselves. Um, I was always 
hoping or had the expectation that I would grow as a channel and I wasn't. There was um, a checklist of like 42 things you can do to grow your YouTube channel. I did like 40 of them. And I understand things, ta things take time. I had been into my channel about two years. And again, I really want to be clear that I don't need to be the best. I don't even need to have a million. I don't need to have a th You know, there was no number. And in fact, it never was a number. So it wasn't about being the best, but it was about being watching the growth. And I had been stalled for, uh, I don't know, six months at least. Um, you know, every time I would, every week when I look at my analytics and stuff, you know, I guess, so there's two schools of thought. One is that YouTube, um, will take your subscribers away. And I've heard it talked about on other channels. I did that research myself and it like edits out the number of subscribers you have. And so every week I would post a video, I would initially gain like a couple subscribers and then lose like five times that amount. So it was always like one step forward, two steps back. Um, and so, okay, I could sit here and I could blame YouTube and say, well, you're taking my subscribers away, which sounds very petulant. Um, the other alternative is if it's not YouTube taking away my subscribers, then I suck <laughs> because people were abandoning me like crazy. And so, and I recognize that let's say, <laughs> Well, let's say 75% I sucked and 25% it was YouTube or whatever, 50-50. Um, at the end of the day, I was still losing the game and I didn't enjoy the game because, um, again, I was, I was hoping and looking for growth and I felt as if um, that wasn't happening. And my intent with my channel really was always to share um, a piece of me, uh, a piece of what I enjoyed about beauty. Like I would never be, um, you know, as in depth as some of the other really, um, beauty YouTube, like gurus, you know, or whatever, I don't know, whatever the word is to explain them. You know, I was never going to be that fancy, but at minimum I wanted to, I wanted to be engaging and I wanted to be able to share things, things. I, I always picture every time I would sit down to film a video, I always pictured as if, um, we were sitting down over coffee. Anybody who was watching me, it was as if we were, or maybe tea, but it was as if we were sharing a drink and I was um, talking to you about, you know, things that I like, things that were going on within my life, within my head, and then I would get feedback from you guys, which was awesome. And so that was kind of always the intent with my channel and, and still is to this day, but um, when I wasn't seeing the, the growth, and my view count was staying the same because it isn't even always about how many subscribers you have. It's, you know, who's watching your videos? Not that the 200 plus people who watch my videos every week were not ridiculously valuable to me. And, and this is kind of why I didn't answer everyone because I felt like it was insulting. At the time when it was so raw for me, I felt like when I say to you, oh, I've disappeared because I don't really feel like I'm doing that well or that, you know, nobody's watching my videos, any one of you could be like, well, hi, don't I matter? I'm watching your videos. And so, oh my gosh, that puts a knot in my stomach even thinking about that because it just sounds so awful. It sounds as if I'm ungrateful for, a oh, Fred is choking behind me, sorry. I got my dogs in here. I am doing this so chill and relaxed right now because I was waiting for like the perfect time and the perfect setup. I'm on the floor in my beauty room. I've got natural lighting. I'm on my vlogging camera and I got my dogs in here. So um, if that's not chill, I don't know what is. But what I was saying was in saying that I, I wanted more, it appeared to me anyway that I was, like I said, being ungrateful for all that I have. Um, I had more than, or I have more than 1,600 subscribers and however many couple hundred view counts every week. That's amazing. And I need to recognize that I should be grateful for that too. But at the same time, my level of frustration was just growing so much and I, I didn't know what to do anymore. And I had, I didn't give up on a dime at that time. I had been kind of struggling with myself and with the channel for like I said, probably about six months. And I kept saying, okay, well, I'm just gonna make it, which for me was at least eight videos a month. That's almost 50 videos. You know, that's a lot of times to sit down in front of the camera to feel like you were potentially 
kind of a failure, which was what that was feeling like. And then at the same time, I didn't want to be insulting. It was very, very frustrating and very, and I, I had had this awesome intent to be able to want to sit down with, um, with you guys and, and with my thoughts. And then it, I guess, I don't know. And maybe it wasn't going the way I planned. And the short story is that, uh, finally one day, um, I guess, I don't know if it was just life or whatever, but I just hit my, my, my point and my husband was at work. I happened to have a day off and, uh, I packed up everything. I packed up all of my, I packed up my camera, my diva ring, all of my lights, my umbrellas, my, my light boxes. And I mean, I, I invested money. I invested a lot of money, not in the grand scheme of things. I mean, when you want to play a sport, you have to invest money on equipment and whatever, but I came home and I packed up everything. I didn't get rid of it, but I packed it up, which is why I'm on my vlogging camera right now because my real camera is not set up right now. Um, but I packed everything up. And at that moment that everything was packed up, I felt intense relief that I, that I didn't have to worry anymore, that I didn't have to be so frustrated anymore. And that I didn't, have to keep trying to get better. There was something very draining about not just existing and not just creating, but this idea of having to get better, constantly just driving to get better. And by better, I mean increased subscriber count and increased view count. And it was at that, it was more of a relief than I anticipated. And when my husband came home from work that day, I didn't even tell him what I did. He came into my beauty room and he was like, Oh, what happened here? Something happened here. I said, I want to talk about it because even at that time, like I said, I was, I was still trying to figure it out. Um, one of the things that I had been trying to figure out, which had been such a conflict, YouTube articles and such and videos talk about, um, your, your channel needs to have an identity. And many of our lovely people who I watch and I'm sure who you watch too, um, you know, they'll have their normal beauty channel and then they'll also have, um, like a vlogging channel. Now mine was always together because I didn't put up enough videos to begin with that I thought I'm like, and I'm trying to grow one channel. I'm like, what am I going to put up? Uh, what am I going to do a second channel for? So I put everything together. And then I realized too, as I was developing or developing it, you know, here I am in one video talking about my monthly favorites. And then in the next one, I'm talking about dealing with depression or death or career choices or, you know, all of this kind of meteor stuff. Um, and that it got to the point where it was starting to feel like I didn't know what I was doing. And, and I was wondering, maybe that's why, um, you know, I, I, I don't appear to be getting better according to my own definition. Um, I don't appear to be growing. And I mean that creatively as well, not just, um, in the channel number sense. And I thought, well, now maybe I'm just doing it all wrong. And even though in the beginning I had enjoyed it and that really was where my conflict was coming from. I enjoyed it so much in the beginning. And then in trying to, like I said, add all the details and do the editing and do the, um, do all of those things that took a lot of time, which then took time away from, I think just the quality of the, the meat of what the video was about. It just, I, I guess I just, I don't know. I guess I just hit a breaking point at that point. And so I really, I think, and I believe that I, I'd, I'd like to go forward. Um, but unless everybody comments down below, you know, and Hey, you broke up, you dumped us. Um, you know, almost, I forget how long it's been now, but it's been quite a long time. Um, if you feel burned that I dumped you, please just say so. And then I don't even have to go any, anywhere further with this. But, um, I think my YouTube motto has always been, um, there's more to life than looking good, but you've got to look good too. And I, when that seemed like those were conflicting, per, conflicting things, you know, beauty and let's say internal beauty, even though they both matter, they were just kind of, they were different departments slightly. Um, at this point today, what I'm saying is screw it. I am no longer going to worry about growing, I guess. I just want to be. And what I want to be or what my channel, what I want my channel to be 
is that conflicting identity because that's who we are. We are multi-dimensional people. We we are not just about the two-dimensional view that we give out to we to the world through our skincare and our makeup. There is everything else that's going on inside as well. And so it's as if when I realized I just wanted to go back to my roots, as they say, and just kind of go back to that original premise that I was functioning on and not so much worrying about you know how 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 many with how many frames of a second am i editing to not that i'm going to give you crappy edits or anything i'm just saying um you know it was i was it was a fine tooth comb every time and i realized i mean even it's so ironic uh youtube just kind of demonetized everybody who was in a large channel and i would clearly um have wound up in that but um I had already decided that I wasn't monetizing my channel anymore. I totally just burned through um, a video card and so it totally just cut me off. So here, I'm going to have to do an edit apparently. Um, what I was talking about was the monetization of um, our videos and I will always leave you with a list of products that I talk about, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to do the affiliate links where every time you click on the link, then I get a percentage. Let me tell you, I, because that takes so much time, so much time. And I much would rather, I much would rather, I would much rather devote my time to filming the videos and editing them cleanly and and putting them up than spending time um, trying to make a few pennies every time I convinced you to buy a particular product. Let me tell you, I may, I will say, I made about $200 and um, that took about two years. Not that I would ever want to throw away $200, but um, over the course of two years and like millions of hours, um, that that's kind of not worth it. So. I want to, I guess what I'm saying is I want to get rid of the fluff. I want to get rid of um, all of those things that I didn't start out doing that allowed me to focus on creating just really good quality videos that had really good content and um, all the other stuff. Because that was the other thing too. I'm trying to work a full-time job, which I know many YouTubers do, but um, I'm trying to work a full-time job and getting up two videos or three videos, whatever it was, was a lot of time. And that was starting to build resentment too. And so um, I am going to just simply do my best to put up a video when I can. And so the idea of, of being predictable and having a schedule in order to grow your subscriber count and all that stuff. Well, you know what? I can't schedule my day. I don't really even know how I'm going to schedule you know, having definitive videos up and edited and all clean and ready to go. I, I admire everybody who can do that. So, um, I'm, I just, I just want to give it another shot. I think I, I, I would like to try it again from scratch without all the fluff, without the drive to be perfect because that's what it was. It was, is my hair perfect? Is um, my lipstick perfect? It, you know, is my eye makeup perfect? What I did for this video today was I, you like my hair? I must be so different from when we last talked. This is what they call a chemical haircut because my biolage, which all of us loved when I got it done, completely like ripped off my hair. So um, I kind of cut it and this is what it's doing now. And so in prep of this video, um, in honor of, trying to just not be perfect because that's what I feel like it was becoming too and what was also taking so much time was trying to look perfect. And let me tell you, 95% of the time I don't look perfect and the 5% of the time I do look perfect, it lasts for like five minutes. And so for today's video, I blotted my skin so that I wasn't a shiny reflection. Then I put on some lipstick and I touched up my hair just a little bit because my curls tend to want to make one curl, which I'm still playing with and still learning with short hair, wavy hair, whatever. And so I think I'm not sure if I said, but I, I put off making this video for so long too because I didn't have the right conditions. And I already, before I even filmed it, went back to who I was, where everything had to be perfect. And now that's why I said I'm in between my jobs of the day. I got to go out in like less than an hour. I'm on my floor and my vlogging camera and the lighting actually, I think just took a turn for the worst. I think, uh, I think we're about to get another snowstorm. So, um, 
I guess I want to know what you think. Was I crazy? I think I was a little crazy. It must have gotten a little bit neurotic. Again, let me end by saying I do apologize that I didn't answer and I, ugh, I still feel guilty about it. I could have, but honestly, really at the time, I didn't want to lie and I also, I didn't know what to say. I'm still not even sure I would know what to say, but this is, this is where I've been and these are the things that I've been trying to figure out um, in that time. And so What do you think? I'm interested this whole time. I'm like, oh my god I wish I could tell them about this lipstick. Oh my god. I wish I could tell them about this moisturizer Oh my god. I, I so want to debate with them this this news thing that crossed my path I have had videos floating through my head this entire time and I didn't give myself the opportunity to do it. So um, that's kind of what I want to do. A balance of my car chats with my get ready with me. No tutorials. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I don't think I could stand to teach anybody. But you can watch me. And if you pick up something while we're doing it or have a good time in the conversation, then that's awesome. But that's, that's kind of where I, I want to go. But I'm wondering, what do you think? Watch is going to be like three people that watch this video. <laughs> Um, and that's okay, because then at least I know where I stand. Oh my god, I'm not going to take it as a sign that my battery just died. First the card ran out, now the battery died. I am not going to interpret that as anything though. I'm just going to be, and I'm just going to exist. So, anyway, I should probably stop talking though. If I ran the battery out, that means I've been talking too long. Um, but one, I hope that demonstrates how much I've missed this. Um, but two, even if... Even if nobody's interested in, in anything else happening, um, at minimum, like I said, at minimum, I needed to apologize for going AWOL. Um, it's like watching a TV show and never getting the series finale. That's all I kept thinking was. I'm like, people are on the cliffhanger. They don't know what's going on. Um, I, at minimum, needed to... Uh, explain what happened and apologize for not responding and if and if this video is all that comes of it then that was good because um, I needed to let you know what was going on so I don't even remember how I used to end my videos um, but thanks so much for watching thank you for all of the support that you gave me even before because even though the last few months um, were a little bit difficult. I was still having fun in the in the creativity of what it was. And so um, thank you for all of your support all of that time before. I, I definitely had a very good time and there really is. There's more to life than looking good, but you got to look good too. And so I hope to talk about both. I hope you have a good rest of the day. In the meantime, thanks. My face looks crooked. Is that, like, this cheek looks huge. Talk about not looking perfect. I look completely lopsided.